Hello everyone, Bernina Jeff here. I've been busy fixing machines, but I've noticed a couple machines come in lately that have a damaged needle bar uh, from use and lack of oiling and stuff. So I'm gonna show you today how to prevent expensive repairs on your sewing machine. This works on uh, most brands, but the ones I've been seeing mostly have been Baby Locks, Brothers, and Janome's. What happens is, this is the assembly. This is called, uh, for practical purposes, the needle bar support. And this is the needle bar that's going up and down. It goes up and downs. Approximately, most people put about a million stitches on a year. So I equate a million stitches to maybe 10,000 miles like on a car. So if you put 10,000 miles on your car a year, a million stitches on your sewing machine, you're right about average. Uh, a sewing machine should last 200 million stitches if it's maintained and oiled properly. So that's like 200,000 miles on your car. So, you know, it's an investment. So I'm going to show you how to save your investment a little bit with a simple monthly tip. So this needle bar is metal on metal. This, this support system is usually out of a cast aluminum or a different softer metal. And the needle bar is hard and it's sliding up and down. It needs to be lubricated. And these new machines, nothing opens up on them. So I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to lubricate it yourself to make your machine live a lot longer and not have to replace it. Or This, this replacement can cost up to $500. The part's only about $50, but the labor is huge. So we want to be able to do this. This will work on all brands of machines. Even the Berninas work the same way. The uh, Brothers, all the brands. So what I'm going to show you here is a quick tip. This particular machine has 25 million stitches on it. And if you can see the wiggle there, this, this needle bar or the support is so wore out that it actually comes down and hits the plate. So this machine is totally useless because that support has wore out. So to have prevented this, once a month, bring down the needle bar. I actually have to move it over so it uh, will go down. Bring down the needle bar and rock it to where it's the lowest possible you can get down there. And then take a precision needle or precision oiler and oil as high up as you can and then bring it up as fast as you can. And do that, you know, two drips of oil, one on the front, one on the back, once a month. That's going to get oil on that lower uh, hole that the needle bar rides up and down, and that's going to help prevent that from wearing out. If you look at this one that's got the 25 million stitches, it's all black because that's all part of the aluminum or part of the metal that's wore off. And while I'm back here, there's another bar that comes down that supports the presser foot. So I give that a, a drip of oil and work it in. Now, Janome's are really nice on most of their models is because the face still opens up. So if you've got a Janome, open up this face and find where that needle bar slides up and down and give it a drip of oil on the upper support and the lower support. This one we can't get to the upper support, but the lower is going to help. Now, as a bonus, most of the models, except for Nina, have drop-in bobbins. The drop-in bobbins are on top and Baby Lock and Brother have a really slick method. Some of the new Janome needle plates are held on by a magnet or pressure. You just push a flip. But there's a two-part needle plate on Brothers and Baby Locks. And this plastic gray part clicks right off. So you put your fingernail on the back part here and a fingernail here and pull towards you. And this L-shaped part of the needle plate comes off. Then you can take out I call this the bobbin basket or the bobbin holder. There's some technical terms for it. And while that's out, you can clean in there. And now to put it back in, this is the assembly pro problem I see with a lot of customers. They don't put this back in. They put it in at an angle. There is a dot or a triangle on the bobbin holder. This is on Janome's, Brothers, Baby Locks, basically all of them. And then there on the machine itself, there's another dot. Baby Lock and Brother use an arrow and a uh, circle. Now, if you look down in here, the hook has a pointy spot. So put the 
point spot back to where you can't see it, back by the needle area. And then this has a cutout in front. I call that the mouth or the mustache. That goes in first. So angle it in there. And you have to kind of wiggle. This is kind of like wiggle it in there. And it has to fit flush. And do you see the two marks, one triangle and one dot? It's got to move about a 64th of an inch. If it doesn't move, the thread can't escape the thread passage here. It'll get stuck and you get these long loops if you don't put that in there. Now, what I do see, I'm going to pull this out real quick, is this has jumped out of its place because something got jammed or whatever. And along this front edge, you'll see where the needle has penetrated and made holes. So this one has a needle hole back here, maybe. So what I do is I take one of those orange emery boards and I file it nice and smooth. If it's made marks along here, do the same thing. Just file it real nice and smooth, and then the thread won't snag on it, and you'll be good to go. Just wiggle that in there. I've done this a thousand times. It goes in real easy for me. Now, if you feel like taking the screws out and cleaning between the feed dogs, that needs to be done about once a year. I don't take the screws out except when I'm servicing them. Now, to put this in, you line it up about an eighth of an inch short of the metal plate, and then push evenly on both sides till it goes in. A lot of the machines will give you an error message when you take that plate off or saying the plate's not on, so that's how you install it. So that's, that's how you can prevent expensive repairs on your machine and get 200 million stitches out of it. If you take it into your dealer to have it maintained, you know, that million stitch mark is good. Bernina's will warn you after three or six million stitches that it's time to see your maintenance dealer. So uh, please don't forget to do that. Your machine is a big investment and uh, you need to have it professionally maintained to give it a long life, just like your car. If you never had an oil change on your car, you might only get 50,000 miles on it and it's junk. So maintain your machine. Thank you very much, Bernina Jeff. For this precision oiler, you can order it from me at my Shopify account. It's bernina-jeff.myshopify.com. Or you can call the shop at 970-256-1293. We open at 9.30 Colorado time. Uh, I actually have it listed on eBay. Or you can visit my website at www.hifashiongj.com. Thanks very much, and please subscribe. I'm approaching a milestone on my subscription, so uh, help me out here. Goodbye.